God be the glory. Aspects would join in with us. See, our usher mode, our young people as well, so as our mass usher mode. I want to thank God for the for the, the volunteer usher mode today. They look great. Let's give them a great big round of applause. Come on, clap your hand today. Clap your hand today. Clap your hand today. Clap your hand today. Usher, I want you to come on the floor and uh, get spaced out right now, and we're going to get ready to open up. Giving God praise. This is the meal for singing today.
be what he's supposed to be on time. Bless you. Thank you. 
up on the front row. All of the kids on the front row.
all of y'all, the family, grandchildren at church, coming back to church and give God praise. Your mother, grandmother would be proud. And I'm glad to see you. I'm glad to be in the service. One more time. So now if there are hungry to come, we ask that you would prepare your hearts and the miracles look good up here. I just thank God for everybody. This is the day that the Lord has made. And we will rejoice and be glad in it. And it reads, And in that day thou shalt say, O Lord, I will praise thee. Though thou wert was angry with me, thy anger is turned away, and thou comfortest me. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. For the Lord Jehovah is my strength and my song. He also has become my salvation. Therefore, with joy shall ye draw water out of the wells of salvation. And in that day shall ye say, Praise the Lord. Call upon his name. Declare his doing among the people. Make mention that his name is exalted. Sing unto the Lord when he has done excellent things. This is known in all the earth. Cry out and shout. Thou inhabitant of Zion, for great is the Holy One of Israel in the midst of thee. I have read to you from the book of Isaiah, the 12th chapter in its entirety. You may have your seat. Let us go to the throne of grace this morning. Again, I say, just thanking the Lord for being here. Just thanking the Lord to be able to exhale and to inhale. Just thanking the Lord that you slept in your warm bed last night and you didn't have to sleep up under a bridge. Just thanking the Lord for putting bread on your table this morning. Regulate you in your right mind. We may not have all the riches and all the shiny things that we want. But just like God told Saul, just like God told uh, 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 Saul, my grace is sufficient. And truly this morning, his grace is sufficient. sufficient. Let us bow our heads. Lord God, Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, Lord God, we have come again down the dangerous highways and byways. Lord God, we woke up this morning. We took our shower. We put on our sweet smell. And Lord, when we went to the kitchen, Lord, you had a reasonable portion of food on the table. And Lord God, you didn't stop there, Lord God. You brought us down the dangerous highways and byways. Inside of this place, it may have touched down on every heart. 
beautiful day. Will you stand to your feet?
Brother Kadaya Jones, Brother Marcus Lee, Brother Torres McCall, Brother Deontay Lumpkin, Brother Austin Barclay, Brother Dallas Burke, Brother Demario Lumpkin, Brother Jay Miller, and your willing workers that are on the floor today are Sister Sheila McFarland, Sister Dorita Ellis, Sister Jeanette Freeman, Sister Felicia Johnson, Sister Merle Dunn, Sister Ellen Williams Wright, Sister Jackie Collins, Sister Royal Mark, and Sister Sonia Gary. Remembering our recent members that passed away, Brother Jesse Parrish, Sister Elizabeth Washington, Sister Lily Bell Simpson. This is your Urshie Board of First Baptist Church.
Getting at the first verse. 
Please listen as I read aloud. Thank you for standing. You will find these words. In those days was Hezekiah sick unto death. And Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amos, came unto him and said unto him, Thus saith the Lord, Set thine house in order. Yes, Lord God. Thou shalt die and not live. Ah, yeah. mm -hmm. Then Hezekiah turned his face towards the wall mm, yes. and prayed unto the Lord yes. and said, the person is claiming now, remember now, O Lord, yes. I beseech thee how I have walked before thee in the truth and with a perfect and have done that which is good in thy sight. Mm. And Hezekiah wept sore. Mm. Then came the word of the Lord to Isaiah, saying, Go and say unto Hezekiah, Thus said the Lord, the God of David thy father, I have heard thy prayers. I have seen thy tears. Behold, I will add unto thy days fifteen years. The word of God for the people. I want to talk for just a moment. He will hear and answer prayer. Thank you, Father. Repeat after me. Much prayer. Much prayer. Much power. Much power. Little prayer, little power, little power. No prayer, no power. Let me tell you, the prayer of the righteous availed much. And I need you to understand about prayer. You don't have to pray a long prayer. God already know what you're gonna say even before you say it. But He just wants you to talk to Him. I'm reminded of that song where it said, just a little talk will make everything all right. Now, now I need you to understand now, he didn't tell you just pray when you get in trouble. Yeah. Or when you're down and you don't know which way to turn. You got to pray in season and out of season. Now, 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 you don't have to be so bold and almost to see. You pray. There was a place inside of you yes. called a secret place. Come on, child. You can pray, and ain't nobody, nobody know you can pray, but you yeah. and the Lord. Yeah. See, some folks want other folks to see them. It's good, it's good, but you ought to have a prayer life of your own. Yeah. And you ain't got to wait on nobody to pray for you. Y'all ain't talking to me. I really don't. If you don't pray for me, I got sense enough to know that if I pray for myself, God will hear and answer my prayer. But you got to do so before God asks you a prayer. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He got to see you doing something. Yes, yes. Awesome. This is why I see some folks, some folks, Lord, you know my heart. You know my heart's desire. Yeah, he know all that. Uh -huh. But do you know him? Yeah. Let me tell you, all of us, you need to have a relationship yes, with the Lord. Yes, yes. And when you have a relationship, you can say, can't nobody yeah. do me like Jesus. Now let's look at this. Let's look at this. Hezekiah. Hezekiah was the 12th king of Judah. He, 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 was, a, he was 25 years old when he became king. His dad didn't know nothing about that, but he knew and he had a relationship with the Lord. I want to help you young people right now. You know, you know. 
I want you to listen to me. Now, if you don't pray, just, just do this for reverence. Say, when you get ready to go to bed at night, this was my old prayer. Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord. I ain't asked y'all. My soul to keep. If I should die before I wake, I pray the Lord, my soul to take. If you don't know that, that's it. Say, say that for, say that for real. But now you all, oh, all, oh, all oh, folks ought to have a different prayer. Father, I stretch my hand to thee. No other help I know. If thou withdraw thyself from me, oh, whither shall I go? You ought to have a big prayer. This morning, yeah. when I rose, yeah. I didn't have no doubt. Yeah. I knew the Lord. Yeah. I'm coming down a little bit in prayer. Yeah. You ought to have a big prayer. Yes, because what God has done for you, you ought to be able to talk to him anytime. Yeah. Yeah. Some of y'all backed it up against the wall. Some of you in here, no grown folk know he's a healer. Yeah. He's a deliverer. Yeah. He's a way maker. Yeah. You ought to have a good conversation with the Lord. Yeah. Don't go home tonight and come now I lay me down to sleep. You're going to go to sleep, but you ought to have a good prayer before you go to bed. Yeah. And then when you wake up and you don't have a long breath, say, Lord, I just thank you for another day. Ah. Yeah. Uh, You ain't got to wait on your pastor to pray for you. I'm going to say that again. You're going to find yourself in a situation that Pastor Miller ain't going to be around. You got to have a relationship. You got to be able to pray for yourself. Now, it's good to have the pastor around. But, but it's always good to have you and Jesus around. But he will make a way. So the prophet Isaiah pins this today to the king of Judah, whose name was Hezekiah. It reads like this. In those days was Hezekiah sick unto death. And Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amos, came unto him. And said unto him, thus said the Lord, listen, set thy house in order, in order for you shall surely die. Now, now, I've been in some situations with some families, and a doctor have called the family in and have said to the family, in so many ways, set your house in order. Yeah. Yeah. Or they shall surely die. Yeah. Now I'm going to tell you, that's what the doctor said. Say. Say but there is a doctor that is above that doctor. Yeah. I wish I had a witness now. Now some in here is a living witness that when the doctor have said it's all over, yeah. God says you just only be gone. Yeah. I'm looking at some people in here who have had diseases in their body and God is still in the blessing. Yeah. Yeah. Can I help somebody in here? Yeah. It ain't over yeah. until God says it's over. Yeah. Doctor may say one thing, but the good doctor says, you got a little more time. Yeah. So after yeah, Isaiah, the prophet, said to Hezekiah, the Lord told me to set your house in order, yeah. for thou shalt surely die. Yeah. Yeah. 
And he said that Hezekiah heard what Isaiah said. Yeah, yeah. And he said, Isaiah, I, I heard what you said, and you told me that the Lord told you for me to set my house in order, because I'm finna die. Yeah. But the Bible said, read it. Yeah. Hezekiah turned his face towards the wall. Are you listening? Yeah. And when he turned his face toward the wall, he began to talk with God. Yeah. Now, Isaiah the prophet delivered what God has told him. But Hezekiah said, I know what the Lord will say. But you don't know him like I know him. He turned his face to the wall and began to talk with the God. Yeah. I can hear him say, now it's so not long? No, come on now, come on now. I've done what you told me to do. Everything. I tried to walk in the right path. Pressure claim this time. And everything that was wrong, I tried to straighten it out. This man, now knowing that he's been to die, mm -hmm. began to cry out loud. Yes, Lord God. Can I help somebody in here? Yes. Every now and then, you got to cry out. Yes, Lord yes. Just don't talk, but cry out yes. to the Lord. And tell the Lord, you know all about me. Yeah. You made me. Yeah. Not me, but you made me. Yeah. Yeah. So now Isaiah had delivered the message. Yeah. And as he delivered the message, the Bible said mm -hmm. that God heard Hezekiah. Yeah. And as Isaiah began to walk out of the yard. Yes. The Bible said the word of the Lord went back to Isaiah. And said, Isaiah, turn around. Yes. And go back in that house. Yes. And tell Hezekiah. Yes, I heard. I heard. Yes. I heard. His tears. Yeah. Yeah. Every night and then, mm. you got to let the Lord see you yeah. want something from him. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. So Thank the Lord you. said to Isaiah, turn around yeah. and go back and tell Hezekiah, I heard his cry mm -hmm. and I see his tears. Yeah. Yeah. And since I heard it, I'm going to add 15 yeah. more years yeah. in his life. Yeah. Some of you in here right now, the doctor had walked away yeah. and shook his head, but you're still here yeah. by the grace of God. Yeah. I don't know who I'm talking to, but I'm going to let you know if you call on the Lord, yeah. them COVID folks will say Jesus yeah. is on the main line. Yeah. Call him up and tell him what you want. I'm a living witness. He'll make a way out of no way. I'm a living witness. He'll turn your midnights into day. Oh, prayer. Prayer changes things. Prayer can move mountains. Prayer will make your enemies your footstool. Prayer will keep you when you can't keep yourself. Is there anybody can sit on your feet right now? And be a testimony that if it had not been for the law who was on your side, where would you be? I don't know who I'm talking to, but some of y'all right now can wave your hand and say, Rev, I'm a living testimony. What you looking at ain't always been like that. What 
door of the church is open now. If there be one, if there will be one,
Don't forget you want the witness to have signal service, you can come right now up here to the choir stand as the music plays. Thank you. 
know some had to leave, but let me tell you something. Whenever you see this man with the pandemic that we are here to do, are y'all with you me? And what God has blessed this church with, young people come into Christ. And I'm going to tell the parents, train them the way they should go. And when they get old, they will not depart. Now, ain't, you ain't going too many places right now. So this was a joyous moment yeah. to see these many kids yeah. out of all we've been through these yeah. past two and a half years. Yeah. Just to see these many kids go and a two more on the way, that's enough to say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Give me a hand.
Yeah. If you want to stay, but this is not carry out. This is sit down. So we have prepared lunch for you, and that's Amen. that's to say thank you for a job well done. Amen. This is for the usher board and the mail course. If no more, we can stand to your feet.